Okay, so hello guys, my name is Rishav Raj and I'm a first year student at Bits Pilani and I guess you will know me, if you don't know me, then you will know me. And this is the 3D strategy. I mean, there is no strategy like this today, but I... The main thing behind this video was that only 3 days are left and you must be feeling a bit tense or you may be very confident or you may be a bit overconfident also which can be possible happens in some cases so yeah i have come to calm you down okay that's the main thing which i have come today uh, sorry the, uh, that's the main reason why i have come today because i feel this is an important time to interact with you guys and i hope this video will help you first of all only three days is left so i'll start with this point which is was preparing for j so it may be possible that j main ended on 27th of july so it may be possible that a lot of students would have been you know preparing for j and they did not get a lot of time to prepare for bitset and bitset is starting from 3rd of august so you may think that we have less time so for them i would like to tell if you were preparing for j that means uh, you must have been okay with it you have you would have been okay with the concepts and all and so you decided to prepare for j so i would say there is not a lot of difference between j and bitset and most of the people generally prepare for j and later on give the bit set yeah so just look upon the pattern and all give two mock tests that would be enough and yeah just look at my one video that my bit set exam day story that may give you confidence and you can also look at some of the other videos uh, which like two or three videos don't watch a lot of videos now but just uh, be okay with the pattern and all that would be enough and just give two mock tests that would help you so next i'll go to the point of fast revision which is very very important at this point of time because now you don't have the time to study a lot i would recommend if three days are left then you can give like if you have been giving mock tests of bit set from a long time then i would recommend you to give one mock test and two days revision plus uh, you know calming yourself down because uh, you have done enough preparation and uh, you don't need to study continuously like 12 hours again you just have to manage your you know sleep schedule and be ready for the examination yeah and look upon the formula sheets and all and if you would have done the things which i have told you in the 10 days revision that would definitely help you right now because those short notes short short notes will help you and also the formulas will help so yeah that's the thing and if you have not done those things i would recommend that you have a small amount of time and you just uh, go through your notes like upar upar say you know yeah that would be enough and just look upon all the formulas don't leave any formula because it may be possible that you think this that my this chapter is weak like my this chapter is weak and then you leave it completely that would harm you a lot because if you just look upon its formulas it may be possible that a straightforward question comes and you can solve it in a go and would be and you would be happy that uh, you the question that came from your most difficult chapter also went so yeah you be will you will become confident and the next point is stress and anxiety so it is very very possible that you may be preparing from a long time and now uh, you are feeling that the yaari utni achhi nahi hai aur you may be thinking like main cheeze bhool raha hu aur you may be thinking like itna taiyari kiya hai pata nahi sahi se exam jayega ki nahi to i would say ki in sab cheezon ko bhulo aur you just focus on the exam yeah like and don't feel stressed it's not the only exam as you have one je main and je advanced left it may be possible that many of you must be aiming for bitsat but still you have some examinations left and also if you go with a clear head without a lot of load on your head like i'm very very stressed or what will happen in the exam then there is greater chance that you will perform well so you yeah, try to interact with your friends whom you feel like they are your true friends or your parents if you feel like sharing something with your parents makes you feel happy then you can do that just try to 
remain calm and happy it may be possible that many a times you would feel a sudden yeah man i want to perform well i don't know what will happen in the exam and all but uh, just focus focus and try to complete your syllabus complete your revision talk to your parents or friends whoever makes you feel comfortable and just be tension free and then the next point is mock tests so i have been recommending mock tests for around a month i have i have also released three mock tests and i'm not planning to raise any more mock tests right now you should have solved some mock tests till now if you are preparing for j then it's okay you can still solve two mock tests and you have and some people fear giving mock tests then they don't listen to the people who tell on youtube that you should give mock tests to them also i would like to give the same advice uh, you have time you can give two mock tests right now also and that would also help you just don't keep any regret or something like that ki i have not done i should have done this i should have done that focus on your present and your future don't focus on your past like i should have done that i should have done that that makes you feel more stressed so control yourself and the most important thing is focus on your present and the next is inorganic and formulas so yeah as i have told earlier you must focus on formulas and also if i talk about inorganic so as i had recommended you earlier you should not make a lot of short notes about inorganic according to me if some points you are forgetting every time you can write it down but other than that ncrt will help a lot you just go through the ncrt i hope you would have gone through 3 4 times till now and now you would look upon it just and a uh, thing should come to your mind when you look into that ncrt book and that would make you pretty comfortable and the next thing is uh, you know the test how should you give the test so i have made another video in that specifically for the pattern in which you should give the test if you don't have a finalized pattern till now then you must look into that video and finalize your pattern and if you feel like you have a pat fire you know pattern file finalized then you must be confident and should be ready to go into the exam and think like i will you know macha dunga main you know bit sat for dunga main that's it you should have that confidence but it's very very important that you be confident and don't go towards over confidence or under confidence both of these things are very very deadly okay like i must tell you what happened in my j second j main was that i was very very confident that i have done a lot i have revised a lot and all and i will definitely do well but i don't know what happened i became over confident and in the exam i did not perform well and my first j main i got around 98.5 and in my second j main i got 94 which was a huge setback there were some reasons like nt normalization and uh, september attempt being the number of students decreased because of covid and all but those are you know like those would have decreased my percentile by one or two but it has decreased 4.5 in place of increasing so i still feel that because of over confidence that had happened and later i understood this mistake i focused that where i am making mistakes where i am making those silly mistakes and i again and again told me that i don't i should not make these mistakes in the exam and a few days later only i gave the bit set like uh, the difference between my second j main and bit set was around 15 to 20 days yeah that's the thing uh, in that short span i tried to make myself confident and reduce my over confidence and examine myself that where i am making those mistakes and that helped me a lot to improve and i finally reached to 326 from 94 percentile which is a good achievement i feel Uh, so yeah that's the thing and at last i would say this thing go without expectations here it's written i am not able to show you you know uh, go without expectations that's very very important people say that uh, uh, i have got 300 in mock how should how much will i get in my main exam i have got 200 in my mock exam how much will i get in my real exam just uh, stop these things you give your mock test for improvement don't believe a lot on them go into the exam fearlessly and give the best way you can just don't think about your past that whatever you have done if you have scored 400 in the mock test that's also okay if you have scored 200 in the mock test that's also okay 
because at last what matters is what you will do on that exam day so yeah that's it guys i think uh, this video would have helped you and if it has helped you please click on the like button because that increases the reach of the video as well as comment like yeah uh, thank you Bayo, for this advice or you can just uh, say thank you or you could just say that it was not at all helpful or whatever you want to say you can say uh, thank you guys thank you for watching